Hello again, Peter here. Thanks for clicking on by. Today, two things. One, are you a parent? Or two, are you a teenager wanting a phone? I've been trying several different options over the last four, almost five years, and it's complicated. And then along comes this company called Gab, G-A-B-B, -B, and they created these phones, and it looks like this. This one's by ZTE. They have a new one by Samsung, which is currently out and about. And then they even have Gab Watch, which I unboxed, but I'll be reviewing soon, so stay tuned. This is their second gen one, and if you look closely, there's, there's, a, few, there's a few cracks. There, there's a lot of cracks on it, and it, it's cracked so badly that when you try to navigate, it just doesn't work. So I contacted Gab, and guess how much it is to fix? They, they don't fix screens. So a whole new one is a hundred and something bucks, or I can get the Gab Plus for, with taxes and a case, 220 something. And that's with $25 off for being a customer for the last two years and change. So there was this other option. I took out the SIM card, which had been hiding <laughs> in my watch so I wouldn't lose it. Not, not a good idea. This, this, this tiny little SIM card, right? And I took this and I put it in this nothing phone from nothing. It's a tech company. They, they have an office in London and they're, anyway, they're, they're nothing. You can look it up. This is the nothing phone one. And guess what? It worked. It worked for about 12 hours. And then it synchronized with this, the, the Gab server. And then it stopped working entirely. And then I went into my Gab account and it said, the line connected to the SIM card was disabled. Because I was thinking, well, I could create a, like a child account on this phone, and then I could block it and I kind of make my own gab. No, and then you're still paying for the service. So this one, no longer an option, and unless I want to spend $150, $200 to replace it. This one I bought for $300, which is a really good phone compared to a gab phone, but it's not child safe right option three the candy bar take the child take take your teen take them back to the year 2009 maybe i tried to find the exact date of this samsung it, it is a samsung it it powers on it still holds a battery charge and look at that it's a color screen i mean it has a menu it has mobile life. I'll show you a little bit. It's a pretty cool phone. It does connect to the internet, but trust me, they're not going to want to. So then I got a prepaid, a little, a prepaid card over at T-Mobile. You just pay as you go, but then it was this tiny SIM. So I walked in, waited about five minutes, looked at their new iPhones and oh, lots of so many gadgets to test. And they gave me this for free. So now I pop this out. Well, let's Let's go with the overhead camera, which is actually this camera. We are filming on the Samsung Z Flippin' 4. Also known as the Samsung Z Flip 4 in other countries. And we're using my Rode audio mics that I got for Valentine's Day last year. Thank you, Sasha. All right, let's see if this phone is gonna work. Cause this one's broken and I don't wanna spend $200 for another one. Their service can get a little pricey, $25 to $30 a month if you have insurance and all that, where I got the pay-as-you-go for around $10 a month. Anyway, here we go. Will it make a phone call? I want to know. Do you? All right, here goes nothing. So here's the proof. It's completely cracked. It does take a long time to... Do you see that discoloration? Anyway, it it's and the child that was using it was almost cutting their fingers. It's quite it's not even quite it's not safe to be using a phone this badly cracked. Here we go. Now these phones are cool in many ways. One, they don't really connect to the internet that well, and when the battery goes bad or the battery goes dead, you can buy spare batteries like this online for as little as 10 or 15 bucks. So now, 
We pop this out carefully. And then we take out that little SIM card. Ah, crap. Where's the other one? Pause. All right, good news, I found it, I found it. And then these little SIM cards are really tricky. You have to put them in just so, or they're not gonna work. And that's not working. Come on, just kinda, should just kinda, there we go, there we go. Did you hear that, A little snappage? And now, we slide this in also a certain way. I believe it's like that. Hang on a second. So you take the computer chip part and you face that down and then you just slide it into the phone like so. There we go. Is that old school or what? And then I already charged the battery. Put the battery in, snap on the case and power on. The anticipation is riveting. So this will allow my child to make phone calls. Oh, it registered with the T-Mobile pay as you go. Searching, searching. So it thinks it's November 30th, Thursday, but it's not. Today is actually June 22nd a Thursday in the year 2023. It thinks it's, I don't know if it knows what year it is. It's trying to get a signal. Please work. Auto time updated. Yes. I have one bar. Four new messages. Exit. Let's see if we can surf the web. History. Blank. Enter URL. Uh, let's try Google. Whoop, 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 whoop. Getting voice messages. Clear. Clear. So if your child is really, really, uh-oh, we just rebooted. The phone is so old, it doesn't use USB-C, it doesn't use lightning port, it uses this micro USB to USB-A. And then it does have a little port protector, so that's kind of cool, and it only goes in one direction, so that's how you charge it. But, okay, it, it rebooted itself. It locks the screen automatically. I can check messages. Let's try to make a call. Who should we call? How about 800-567-5309. Send. Oh, it has speakerphone. That's high tech. Where's volume? Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> well, it's making phone calls, even on one bar. Does it have Wi-Fi, call settings, advanced, network, search now? I don't think it has Wi-Fi, which is good. That, that's good. I didn't want Wi-Fi. And then if you have AT&T or Verizon or T-Mobile, and I think Mint Mobile, not sure on that. Oh, now I'm up at three bars. You can call and get triangulation and track this phone if you do want to track your child. What else does this phone do? It has a calendar? Hey, that's cool. Uh, let's see, what else? We got messages. Create message. Ooh, let's see if I can create a message. Hang on. Okay, how should we do this? Let's try, let's try hi. Hi, and then space. Or space. I don't know what it is, but <laughs> my Apple phone has made me feel not as smart as I used to with this older phone. It's not, it's, <laughs> it's so difficult. There we go. Wow, this is really, oh, nope, thigh, high thigh. A little outdoor visibility test. It is really hard to see in the sunlight. So if I go over here in the shade, there we go, now I can unlock it. And once it's unlocked, I can see the screen, but it is difficult. So we're gonna go to messages, create message. 
And then I can do recent recipients. I'll choose myself. Add. And I can type a message, right? Uh, hello. Oh, it has autocomplete. I tried to turn this off. Hide. The. <laughs> Try to type money. No, M. Oh, no. Hide the common. Um, okay, we can also. Oh, and it's sent. There we go. Okay, let's try to see how long it takes to reply. Outside, I have much better coverage because there's no Wi Fi assist. There's the message. Hide the common. Wow, visibility nine years later on phones. Actually, this is from 2012, so this is only about an eight-year difference in technology here. And the screen is as bright as it gets on this Samsung. Hide the common what? And then we're also going to do a emoticons test. Oh, there we go. So it sends and receives pretty quickly. Options, I can call the sender, or I can go back, save to context, delete, save to template, more. Ah, there we go. You just press the OK button. And then there's a way to do templates, I found out. You can do insert, text template, and you can say, sorry, I missed your call. Send. And then how quickly is it going to send? Pretty fast. So now we'll try an emoticon test, just some random emoticons, smiley faces, send. How do the emoticons work? Like that. The emoticons don't work at all. Bummer. You can still text and there's canned messages, so that's good. 2014, nine-year-old tech. It still works for phone calls and that's what I really need it to do. And we would dial 911 and for what it's designed, it works. The browsing no longer works. That appears to be turned off. I tried to do an update. That doesn't work either. But there's your outdoor test and texting and phone calls. And yes, the dial pad still works. And almost 12 hours later, actually it's been on for almost 18 hours and the battery life is still full bars. So there you go. A few options to protect your teens from maybe unwanted distractions. You could do an Android phone and uh, lock down that profile, but let me tell you, kids will find a way. They know, <laughs> they know very well how to open and close doors and they're very good at it. This phone might work. I'm gonna use it for a while and, well, I'm gonna use it for my kids for a while and we'll see how it goes. It's very portable. Battery life is pretty good. I like how you can just take out the battery. That's kind of nice. And it's a colored screen. That's pretty cool. And the fact that it still communicates with the network, sends and receives text messages. Now the Gab phone has been good. I'll have a review about that soon. It's a bummer that the Nothing phone didn't work with a child uh, profile, but maybe they'll change that in the future. But for now, I'm gonna go old school and see how that works as a parent. I'm curious to know what your thoughts are. Have you given your teen, your tween, a smartphone? Did you buy them the new iPhone 14? And it's working great? If so, I would love to hear about it. Creative comments, honest comments from parents or tweens. Type away, do you love, do you hate your Gab phone? Did you crack the screen on purpose, hoping your parents would buy you the new iPhone 4 15 coming out in a few months? Or are you more of a OnePlus type of person? Type those ideas down below. Thank you so much for watching, and let me know your favorite phone if you don't want to talk at all about parental controls. I'm curious about that as well. I'll have another video out soon. Thank you so much for watching, and yes, I am almost done with the video of this watch, the Casio versus the Garmin Venue 2 Plus. I just finished wearing them for three days. And yeah, I'm kind of overloaded with the gadgets. So that's it. And thanks to T-Mobile for the pay-as-you-go phone. 
that's going to help out a lot. That's all for now. Goodbye. Hello again, Pietro. Okay, mic check, audio test, check one, check two. Looking away, is the audio still there? How's the volume? End of test. Hello.